What is good, YouTube? Today, I'm here with my first uh, video of 2K23. It's going to be showing you how to get your Mountain Dew endorsement to get your black Dr. Disrespect uh, vest. So, first, what you're going to do is to get the quest. Just go into your quest. Go to side. And then keep scrolling down until you get to endorsements. Now, my Mountain Dew is pinned, so it's at the top. But yours will probably be down here somewhere. Um, first thing you're going to have to do is get 125,000 fans. Now, that's pretty easy. You just do some quests. Like, see, all these quests, they, that gives you 500,000 fans. Like, that's crazy. Um, so, you want to do that. Go back to the side. Um, and then, uh, you need to get flashy levels and free spirit levels. So, to get flashy levels, I basically didn't even try to get flashy levels. I just got them by myself. But to get them specifically, you can go to your... My player, go to appearance, and then you go to the city top, and then there might be uh, some flashy clothing you can put on. So see these little icons on the top left hand corner. Uh, the red one is the spirit, free spirit levels, and I believe the blue one is the um, flashy levels, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, and then. To get your free spirit levels, you do the exact same thing. So I've, I've had one prepared earlier. Now you look like an absolute park random, but that's okay, because you're not gonna be playing any games. So after this, you just exit out. You come here, which is the uh, the arena. Here it is on the map. Now you wanna do here is just run or walk into the uh, arena. And now what you're gonna do from here, just run forward, walk through this, and bam, down the bottom, free spirit levels. Now if you put on the other one, you get flashy levels, um, and then flashy levels are way easier to get than free spirit levels. So if you just go along your business, you know what, you'll probably already have like four or five flashy levels. Well, I've had nine, and I didn't even try to get them. So now what you wanna do after you've gotten both your free spirit levels, It'll pop up saying, go to the endorsements menu to accept Mountain Dew's offer. Now what you wanna do here is go to your progression, go down to brand and endorsements, press right bumper or R2 to endorsements, scroll along and you'll find Mountain Dew. Now this should be blue if you haven't signed it already. And then you can just click A and then it will come up like this, but instead it will say, do you want to sign with Mountain Dew? You just click yes. Now you can exit out of here. Now you gotta go uh, meet up with Dr. Disrespect at Robert Miles Park, so I'll, I'll flick to that. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to walk over to the location that's on the screen. And then you can skateboard or just walk or run over to the, uh, the court. And then at the back of the court, which I'm running to now, Okay, so now that you've made it to Dr. Disrespect, the first thing he's going to ask you to do is to beat him in a free throw contest. So the first game that he's going to do is you have to make five free throws out of five. Um, you can make whites, uh, you don't have to green all of them. And then the second thing is you have to get a certain amount of points and you have to beat him in points total. Um, so you get three for a swish, two for if he hits the rim and one if he hits the backboard. Um, and then zero if you miss it. You've got to get the, a certain amount of points. Uh, it's different for each person. Then you play him in horse. Uh, all you got to do is just shoot from threes uh, and get off to a lead. Then you'll be all good. Doesn't matter if you miss a shot. He doesn't usually make his shots. Um, and then the third thing he wants you to do is to beat him in a game of 3v3. Now what I did for this game is I used my strategy where you run to the AI, call for the ball, and then run the opposite way where it stuns the AI so you can get a wide open driving dunk. Now if they start doubling you, then you can start passing to your teammates, they hit all their threes. Um, I recommend hopping on a big man instead of a guard, uh, just because I found it way easier. And then that's it. Once you beat Dr. Disrespect in a game of 3v3 and all the other games that you just played him in, uh, you talk to him and he shows you the billboard that you guys just made. After that, the quest is done, Dr. Disrespect leaves and uh, you can go into your my player, then appearance, 
and you can see that you have your vest where the jerseys are. Uh, you can put it on with any shirt. You can't put it on with uh, hoodies unless they're the NBA store one, which is kind of like a glitch. And if you don't have, if you haven't done the Ronnie 2K quest, which you got shirtless, you have to put it on with a shirt. You can't go no shirt underneath the vest. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. And see ya.